PeopleSoft expense users currently attach receipt images at header and line levels to an expense report or My Wallet for individual transactions. By providing the option to send a text message through integration with Twilio, you now have the ability to quickly send in a receipt image without having to log in, saving you time. Take a picture of a receipt and immediately send that to a central incoming text messaging account for your company. When received, the system will identify you by the cell number the message was sent from and will place the attachment in the My Wallet area of expenses so that you can later add the attachment to an expense report. The receipt's images received as text messages from Twilio in PeopleSoft Expenses are saved to the My Receipts page. Select Add from the My Receipts button to select Receipt Images and add them to your wallet or expense report. This completes our discussion of the Twilio Text Messaging to My Wallet feature. In Image 24, PeopleSoft Lease Administration enables changes aimed to address lessee functionality pursuant to the new Financial Accounting Standards Board and International Accounting Standards Board leasing guidance. The Payables Lease component is enhanced to allow multi-asset lease entry with lease classification determined at the asset level. Lease payments can be allocated by amount, percent, or manual methods to reflect an accurate cost distribution by asset. Financial terms have been extended to include initial direct costs, lease incentives received, and payments related to lease options. This completes our discussion of the Lease Accounting Phase 3 feature. In Image 24, PeopleSoft expanded the PeopleSoft Classic Supplier 360, enabling you to access supplier-related metrics and transactional information in a single dashboard using the configurable analysis framework through the PeopleSoft Fluid User Interface. The Supplier Analysis page displays detailed supplier information in various pagelets. You can include additional pagelets using the Choose Metrics option, which are categorized as Individual Metric and Group Metric. Drag and place pagelets to rearrange them within the display. Related actions allow you to customize your display with separate options listed at the Analysis View level as well as at the Supplier level. Use supplier actions to drill down to more detailed information about the selected supplier. The Suppliers Comparison page allows you to compare details of two or more suppliers by placing them side by side. Clicking the Add Supplier button allows you to search and add suppliers to compare. You can add as many suppliers as needed. You can also save the view. Similar to the Analysis view, Related actions are also available for the comparison view. Fluid Supplier 360 allows you to view supplier details in a pivot grid. Click one of the pivot grid pagelets to open a two-panel window. The left panel allows access to the prompts and filters within the pivot grid, where you can search and select data. Drag and drop the data facets into the pivot grid columns and rows on the right panel and analyze pivot data. This completes our discussion of the Supplier 360 in Fluid feature. The PeopleSoft Configurable Analysis Framework, or CAF, was introduced to PeopleSoft Classic in Image 10. Image 24 provides CAF in Fluid and moves setup pages to enterprise components. Fluid CAF supports comparisons and analysis, just like Classic CAF. The display page is automatically resized when the browser window changes. This completes our discussion of the Configurable Analysis Framework on Fluid feature. PeopleSoft Fluid eBill Payment is a complete online payment center where you can pay bills for yourself or for other customers if you're a broker and keep track of accounts on a smartphone or any mobile device. Fluid eBill Payment keeps and extends classic eBill payment functionality while adding new features such as Quick Pay and the Message Center. The Contact Us tile shows the number of new messages in the Message Center and unread messages are flagged for your review. PeopleSoft Fluid eBill Payment offers a new way to pay 
using QuickPay. Pay your entire balance using QuickPay. No checkout using the payment cart. Verify the payment settings look good. Submit. And you've just paid with one click using QuickPay. Fluid eBill Payment supports payments using credit card, direct debit, electronic check, and PayPal. Fluid eBill Payment functionality on laptops and desktops offers the same payment tiles and more. For example, you can view statements online and print from your browser through the new statements tile. Also available through installation options and customer preferences, you can receive push notifications for new statements, forthcoming and missed invoice due dates, and process payments. Redesigned on the PeopleSoft Fluid User Interface in Image 24, eBill Payment helps you manage your account and pay bills on the go. This completes our discussion of the Fluid for eBill Payment Customer Facing Pages feature. The PeopleSoft General Ledger Work Center is a valuable time saver and a focused productivity driver for finance and accounting organizations when managing workloads and assignments. In Image 24, the current work section is renamed to Journal Processing in both Fluid and Classic General Ledger Work Centers to further increase efficiency. This new section includes specific tasks that fall within Journal Processing, such as submitting journals for mass approval and sending journals for rework. The My Approval section is new for the Classic General Ledger Work Center only. In the Fluid General Ledger Work Center, you use the Approval tile. The My Approval section includes three existing links, earlier part of the current work section, namely Journals Pending My Approval, Chart Field Requests Pending My Approval, and Reconciliation Pending My Approval. The Fluid General Ledger Work Center includes links for queries and reports and processing. This completes our discussion of the General Ledger Work Center expansion for My Work feature. Mobile approvals in PeopleSoft Source to Settle Common Information is now delivered using the new Enterprise Component Fluid Approvals Framework. Submitted transactions go through the approval process. An approver can review the information, such as registration details, before taking an appropriate action. The following approval transactions are implemented using Fluid Approvals, Bidder Registration Approval, and Supplier Registration Approval. In this example, we will review the approval process for registration submitted by the suppliers. The same approval process can be implemented for bidder registrations as well. The Pending Approval Supplier Registration page displays the supplier registrations that are currently routed for approval. Review the header information for supplier registrations. You can select one or several supplier registrations on this page and take appropriate actions such as approve, deny, push back, or request information. You can also use the filter to narrow results on the page. Use the Supplier Registration Approval page to review and approve, deny, push back, or request more information for a single supplier registration. Use the links displayed on the Approval page to view additional registration details about the supplier. This completes our discussion of the Fluid Approvals for Supplier Onboarding, Supplier Registration, and Bidder Registration feature. Mobile Approvals in Services Procurement and Strategic Sourcing is now delivered using the new Enterprise Component Fluid Approvals Framework. Submitted transactions in PeopleSoft Services Procurement and Strategic Sourcing go through the approval process. An approver can review the information, including the line details, before taking an appropriate action, such as approve, deny, pushback, or hold. The following approval transactions are implemented using Fluid Approvals for Strategic Sourcing and Services Procurement, Sourcing Plan Approval, Services Progress Log Approval, Services Timesheet Approval, and Services Invoice Approval. In this demonstration, we will review the approval process for Services Progress Logs. The same approval process can be implemented for Services Timesheet Approval, Services Invoice Approval, and Sourcing Plan Approval. Once you select the Approvals tile, the Pending Approvals page lists all the transactions. 
The Pending Approval Services Progress Log page displays the services progress logs that are currently routed for approval. Review the header information for the services progress log. You can select one or several services progress logs on this page and take appropriate action such as approve, deny, pushback, or hold. You can also use the filter to narrow results on the page. Use the Services Progress Log Header Approval page to review and approve, deny, push back, or hold a single Services Progress Log. Use the links displayed on the header page to make changes to the transaction. This transaction displays the Adjust Progress Log link, which you can use to adjust expense amounts and modify comments. The PeopleSoft Classic User Interface displays where you make the adjustments. The More Information section displays links associated with the transaction. This transaction displays the view comments and attachments associated with the progress log. If there are no comments or attachments associated with the progress log, this section is hidden. Use the Approval Line Detail page to review line summary and details. Use the links displayed on the Approval Line Detail page, such as View Distribution, Approver Rating, View History, to view additional details about the line. When you select an action button, you have the option to select Submit to continue the action or Cancel to back out of the action. Upon submitting the action, the system generates a message that the action is successful. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Approvals for Strategic Sourcing Plan, Timesheet, Progress Log, and Invoice Approval feature. PeopleSoft General Ledger allows authorized personnel to delete anchor journals en masse. For subsystem journals, the source flag is reset for the purpose of regeneration. You can use filter options to search for specific journals. When you select the Journal ID link, the system opens a Journal Entry Lines pop-up window when you can take available action. Security setup for the Mass Delete Journals feature allows any user or role the flexibility to delete the journals created by others. Without this access, individuals can only delete their own journals. This feature is available from three locations within the PeopleSoft General Ledger system. The PeopleSoft Fluid General Ledger Work Center, the PeopleSoft Classic General Ledger Work Center, and from a traditional navigation path from the General Ledger menu. This completes our discussion of the Mass Journal Delete feature. Using the requisition tiles in PeopleSoft Fluid enables you to search, view, and add requisition items to a cart. With PeopleSoft Image 24, Fluid requisition has been improved to include new pages as well as enhancements to existing pages. The checkout page used during requisition creation is enhanced to enable you to add comments and attachments at the requisition header, line, and schedule level. Click the Header Comments Attachments button to access the requisition header comments and attachments page. When submitting a requisition for checkout, you can use the new Save Confirmation page to review finalized requisition details that have been submitted for approval. After creating a requisition, you can use the new My Requisition page to view a list of requisitions that you have ordered, as well as budget check the requisition, edit the requisition, such as add or delete requisition lines, or modify quantity and resubmit, and review requisition details, such as requisition status, requester, item ID, and total requisition amount. You can also select a requisition row on the My Requisition page to view the requisition summary page. Here you can review all the requisition lines corresponding to a particular requisition. This completes our discussion of the e-procurement enhancements to fluid requisitions special request item check feature. With PeopleSoft Image 24, you can track and process non-capitalized child assets using the parent-child relationship, retire-reinstate asset, retire-reinstate non-financial asset, and disposal worksheet components. The following pages provide the new capitalized asset field to indicate whether a child asset is capitalized or non-capitalized. 
the Create Parent Child Assets page, the General Parent Info page, the Parent Child Basic Information Child Assets page, the Review Parent Child page. This page also includes the new in service date field. The Review Parent Child NBV Asset Detail page. The Review Parent Child NBV Child Assets page. This page also includes the new in service date field. The Parent Child IU Transfer page. This page also includes the new in service date field. The Retire Reinstate Asset Child Assets page. This page also includes the new in service date field. The Non-Financial Retire Child Assets page. This page also includes the new in-service date field. The Disposal Worksheet page. This page also includes the new Include Non-Capitalized Assets search field. The Approved Disposals page. This completes our discussion of the Non-Financial Asset Enhancements feature. PeopleSoft Contracts enables you to import sponsor letter of credit data and compare letter of credit data between the PeopleSoft and sponsor systems. You can identify and act on exceptions to ensure the accuracy of your data before initiating the billing cycle. To enable you to import sponsor letter of credit data, the Sponsor Details page provides you with a new Data Export Import Utility Map ID field which specifies the data export import utility mapping used to process the sponsor file upload. Use the Upload Sponsor File page to import letter of credit data. This page provides you with two options to attach a sponsor letter of credit file. The Using File Attachment option enables you to attach a letter of credit file from your local machine. The Using File Path option enables you to attach a letter of credit file from an application server. The Contracts Work Center also provides three letter of credit exception queries. The first query is the LOC Doc ID Not in Contracts page, which enables you to review letter of credit document IDs that have been uploaded through a sponsor file but are not specified on any contract or contract line. The second query is the LOC Doc ID Not in Sponsor File page, which enables you to review letter of credit document IDs that are used by grants contracts but are not present in the sponsor files. The third query is the LOC Authorized Amount Less Than Greater Than Limit Amount page, which enables you to review details of the letter of credit data specified in the sponsor upload file as well as on the contract line when the authorized amount from the sponsor file does not match the billing limit. This completes our discussion of the Contracts Pre-Bill and Close Workbench feature. In Image 24, PeopleSoft Financials allows you to determine the operational status of payables and credit to cash using operational metrics. The Fluid homepage for Payables Managers provides content and enables access to other areas such as the Work Center. Payables Operation Metrics help Payables Managers, Supervisors, and Leads who are responsible for managing the operation to identify bottlenecks, improve efficiency, and reduce liabilities and costs of the operation. Each tile represents one metric. Preferences are specified at the tile level for each user. The user can define the criteria needed to select the relevant transactions. Knowing the amount of time it takes to approve a voucher can be a determining factor in discounts lost or gained. This level of visibility into operational efficiency is a business value add. Access the Operational Analysis tile to view the additional content in the Payables Operational Metrics dashboard. In addition to the Payables Operations Fluid homepage, PeopleSoft provides a fluid homepage for billing and receivables managers to provide content and enable access to other areas such as the Work Center. Credit to cash operation metrics help billing and receivables managers, supervisors, and leads who are responsible for managing the operation to identify bottlenecks, improve productivity to reduce collection costs, and improve day sales outstanding. An understanding of the payments that are not yet applied and the reasons for it would facilitate the completion of the collections process. Access the Operational Analysis tile to view the additional content 
in the Credit to Cash Operational Metrics Dashboard. This completes our discussion of the Payables Operation Metrics and Credit to Cash Operation Metrics features. PeopleSoft now supports India Goods and Services Tax, or GST. Before you transact in the GST regime, you must set up every entity liable to tax present in the PeopleSoft environment. You must also register with the GST authority and procure a goods and services tax identification number. Select the India Enable GST checkbox to enable GST within PeopleSoft to migrate to this tax regime. Enabling GST also disables the earlier India sales tax, excise, and VAT. The impacted PeopleSoft products are global components, accounts payable, accounts receivable, billing, purchasing, order management, and inventory. This completes our discussion of the India Tax Changes GST feature. The Mobile Technician Workbench allows field technicians to view and update work order tasks and to create new work orders from any device. Additionally, technicians gain visibility to tasks on the basis of their priority, scheduled date, and weekly time entries. They can also view the organizational notices while out in the field. The My Tasks tile shares most of the core functionality available in the Classic Technician Workbench. You can search for work order tasks to view, update, and complete. The Quick Work Order tile allows you to create ad hoc work orders and view the existing work orders. This completes our discussion of the Mobile Technician Workbench feature. Simplified Analytics, provided in PeopleTools 855, allows you to create, configure, and save analytic reports. The key objective of Simplified Project Analytics is to put reporting and analytic power in the hands of project managers. It enables project managers to generate ad hoc analytics in the context of project costing projects. The Simplified Analytics feature allows them to keep their project on track across their budget, time and scope, with visibility into static key metrics, and provides the ability to launch into a self-service wizard that helps them to create and publish their analysis. The dynamic output can be published onto a Fluid Pivot Grid homepage tile for quick and easy access. When Simplified Analytics is assigned to a component and enabled, the My Analytics panel is displayed on the right side of the component. This completes our discussion of the Simplified Project Analytics feature. The Fluid Work Center provides you with configurable dashboards, complete visibility into operational work, and simplifies the reassigning of tasks. In Image 24, the Fluid Work Center includes the Queries and Reports and Processes group boxes. This completes our discussion of the Fluid Work Center Queries and Reports and Processes enhancements. The following features have also been added to Image 24. Contracts, Revenue Recognition for US GAAP and IFRS, Project Costing, Project Hierarchy, and Billing, Electronic Invoicing. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft Update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the Update Image Overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.